Hi, good afternoon. Uh, you've already seen the safety inspection portion of this Class A vehicle. So now uh, for, uh, what we're gonna go through is how to drop down the low boy um, and actually disconnect it so you can bring your equipment on or off this trailer. Uh, the good thing about this, the operating instructions for disconnecting and connecting uh, the gooseneck to the trailer are located right here on the frame itself. All right, very first step though, we need to check in the cab and we need to make sure that our uh, trailer air supply brake is turned off so it's actually excavated. So that'll be the first thing I check. All right, next, I'm gonna disconnect my air and electrical lines. All right, you're gonna take your lines and place them in the, uh, the trailer ramp right here so they do not get damaged when you're moving your equipment. All right, next, and the most, one of the most important things is your safety pin. You're gonna pull up on this yellow handle, pull the safety pin out. If you do not pull that safety pin out, when you drive forward, you're gonna rip it and bend it all up in place. All right, next, I'm gonna to move to the back and I'm gonna open the tanks uh, to ensure that all the air in this system is released. All right, first thing I'm, next I'm gonna do is uh, release all the pressure out of my tanks. You can see that we have about 60, uh, 465 PSI. I'm gonna open the handle here which is to release all the air out of that tank, releasing the pressure from the entire trailer. Now we'll move up to the front and I'm gonna show you how to turn on uh, the PTO pump. All right, if you remember from the in cab inspection, PTO switch is right here. All you need to do is push up on the switch, make sure the end light, indicator light comes on, and you'll also hear a slight change uh, in the sound of the truck where the, where the pump engaged. Next, we're gonna move back to the, uh, to the control station on the gooseneck. All right, now we're gonna actually move on to the next step. All right, we're gonna grab the next cylinder switch. It says up, down. We're gonna push that up while holding on to our uh, handle. Because we're pushing, we're getting it just enough to take the pressure off. We're gonna release the safety hooks all the way down and then take our next cylinder all the way down to the ground, ensuring that nothing is around the trailer because this is where it'll actually sit down on the ground now. The key with this is to ensure that you release all tension off the gooseneck to the trailer hookup. Uh, by doing that, you're gonna have to mess with the next cylinder, all right, and also the shoring cylinder slightly. Pushing it down to push the truck down to, to ensure we have uh, no tension on that gooseneck at all. All right, from this point, I'm gonna have, I would have my, uh, my assistant stand over here and watch as I'm gonna pull the truck forward to ensure that everything is disconnected, that I do not have any tension uh, on this system at all. Um, so from that point, I'd actually be on the very last step, which is step nine, step nine, which says the tractor can now safely be pulled forward from the trailer. All right, now that we have the tractor disengaged from the trailer, uh, first thing we're gonna do is obviously drop our ramps down. And uh, because we're here to take the vehicle off, to take off our, our uh, Bobcat T750, after that I'll show you how to actually unbind the vehicle as well. All right, for unbinding, uh, you have your switch. You just need to ensure which way is loose and which way is tightening. 
um, hold on to it and as you're cranking it, you should notice the binder which should be opening up, which is loosening up your chains. You're gonna go wide enough that you can uh, safely pull your chain off and unhook the binder from the, from the machine. All right, now that we have the uh, Bobcat safely untied, there's, we verified there's nothing else holding it in place, holding it down. Uh, we would all, uh, obviously go ahead and get in our equipment now to drive it off the uh, trailer. All right, as I'm driving forward, as I'm driving forward to uh, come off the trailer, I'd want to ensure that I had my safety uh, personnel standing by so that they could uh, ensure that I'm driving nice and straight. I'm not gonna have any issues. You gotta make sure that you center your equipment on the tracks and that you have your balance uh, situated as well so that as you go down, you do not tip forward in any such manner. All right, now that we're safely off the trailer, we're gonna pull over to the side and conduct our uh, walk around for this piece of equipment.